Ruby Thoughts is a fan-made parody. This is not endorsed by Rooster Teeth in any way. Views, opinions, and thoughts are all our own. Rooster Teeth and Ruby are trade names or registered trademarks of Rooster Teeth Productions LLC. There. Pardon me, but the last time an aircraft flew into a frightening lightning storm, it disappeared for five and a half years. Goodness, what ghastly decor. I'll certainly need to tidy this up if we're here for long. Forgive my shock, but hearing about Salem is one thing, seeing her is another. My queen. Perhaps one day Cinder will know a life other than servitude, but today is not that day. Cinder. When I chose you as my vessel for the maidens, I put my trust in you. So I trust that you wouldn't possibly return to me empty-handed. And I don't think it needs to be said that your trust was well misplaced. The relic of knowledge. I took it right from under Ironwood's nose. Really now? Why, I never. First you deprived me of my head pats, and now you steal credit for my work? The audacity! The absolute audacity! Outsmarting the General speaks less to your intellect and more to his. Who in the world is this, and how much did he see? After all, you were outsmarted by those children first. Well, it seems like he did see quite a bit. Do watch out, Cinder dear. I doubt your master is one to easily forgive deception. And according to radio chatter, that same general and his forces outsmarted you. A shame Watts never made it back. Oh, infighting! What a lovely and stable group of individuals that I will surely join. I'm afraid the doctor was a necessary sacrifice. I do hope this little one doesn't become another. Judge me by my size, do you? You're going to need much more than just a new tail by the time I'm through with you. Who is she? Neapolitan has some very useful abilities and has proven to be a valuable asset. If this partnership is to endure, then I dare say you'd start treating me like a person, as Roman did. Hmm. You certainly do enjoy collecting assets. I really am wondering what the worth of joining this cabal of misfits is. That said, I'd reckon leaving now would land me in quite a bit of trouble. Cinder. You're here! I, I knew you'd- Oh, how adorable. An orphan troublemaker latches onto her dum-dum. Quiet. Mm, so devoted to someone so incompetent. While the good doctor and I were advancing the will of our goddess, dismembering the very body of this kingdom, you were merely atoning for past failures. Past failures? That is quite an understatement. 
Though, by my assessment of the past few days, one should be wary of throwing stones in glass houses. Polandina's creation interfered with the transfer of the Winter Maiden power. But now I know she has it. And once I return to Atlas, it won't take long to finish what I started. Someone is getting rather ahead of themselves. Ambition is not a trait one desires in a henchman. That power will be mine. I've given no such command. <sighs> Ma'am, now is the time to... Uh, just what is she doing? to win, Cinder. It's mine. This is the face of one who regrets the circumstances that led them here. Just because you're more valuable to me than a pawn does not make you a player. Everything is already in motion. All you need concern yourself with is your ability to act when I tell you to. She's absolutely f***ing insane. Of course. Without you, I am nothing. And I am now spectacularly bored. One would think an immortal witch would come up with some sort of entertainment to pass the time. Your Grace, I... And I thought losing was a bad look for you. But groveling is a new low. As for my part, I bow to no master. What is that? An experiment. So far, I am pleased with the results. Did you need something, Cinder? Something isn't quite right about this Grim. Yet I can't quite put my finger on it. Yes, I... I want to search for the Winter Maiden. I think... Do you hear that, my pet? She thinks. She wants. As if she's done something that warrants me caring about either of those things. And I thought I was the Queen of Sass and Passive Aggression. We're just sitting and waiting. Without the Maiden Power, the Vault means nothing. Let me claim it for you. You really don't know when to stop, do you? I will tell you when and where you are needed. But your grace- <laughs> My oh my! It's almost as if it understands what they were talking about. Quite unsettling indeed. I'd like to think I have shown a great deal of patience over my many years walking remnant. But I do hate repeating myself. And then Mummy got very cross with Cinder, very cross indeed. You will remain here. Is that clear? Someone's in trouble. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. Without you, I am nothing. Let me guess. You're about to storm off in a fit of defiant rage. You don't ever learn, do you? I know what she said. Good. Then you'll be turning back now. I just want to check on something. Then send me alone, you fool. We'll be back before anyone realizes. Someone will have certainly realized by now that we're gone. Why is it that you always overestimate yourself? I want to see if anything is still going on at Amity Coliseum. Oh dear, overshotted a bit. I'll need to tiptoe to stick the landing. Salem doesn't know those children like I do. They wouldn't just abandon their misguided attempt to save the world. And if you find them, what will you do? You can't beat Little Ruby Rose in a staring contest, let alone a fight. Ugh, if she doesn't want to, I'll come. Ugh. The pet. I've been working on my semblance. I can help. 
I won't tell anybody. How much did you overhear? And so begins another chapter in the never-ending tale of Cinder and Neo's misadventures. Hey guys, Eric here. Hope you liked that video. If you did, remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications, and maybe, just maybe, check out all those links below. Thanks for watching.